For whole days, I would wander around those houses without ever seeing a Bible or indeed any book of any kind. Often, I would stand in rooms bare of any furniture where father, mother and half a dozen children had neither bed nor bedding unless a pile of dirty straw and rags in the corner could be called such. I've heard the wail of children crying for bread and their mother had none to give them. I've seen a babe pulling at breast so dry that the starved looking mother could have been dead. I've known a stepfather turn his daughter who had bloomed into womanhood out into the night and bid the sobbing girl earn her bread there as others were doing. I've knelt over the foul pallet of a dying lad to hear him whisper how his father and mother, who were lying half drunk by the fireside, had taken the blankets off of his body to sell them for drink. I've seen children blanched like plants growing in a cellar. For weeks they had never breathed a mouthful of fresh air for want of a few rags to cover their nakedness. Often I was observing these dingy dwellings where the air is poison, the food is scanty, the cold is bitter, and short is the gleam of sunshine. There, these children live in continual terror of a drunken father or mother, and where when they cry they are not kissed, but they are beaten. There, the children have an air of sadness about them and look as if they've never smiled. You know, I don't ever recollect of ever seeing a mother dandling her infant or hearing the little creature crow or laugh as he leapt with joy. There, infants have no toys and mother (coughs) smiles are as short as the gleam of sunshine. Please give. Do it now. Do not let the warm feelings of generosity die in the cooling influences of this world.